Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and in this video, we're going to continue our HTML5 form talk with some new attributes and new things you can use in your forms. And one of the ones I use most often is placeholder. So if we just had a normal text field, let's just do an input type, and it's just going to be an input type text, right? Uh, but we can have a placeholder text, and this is just by typing in place holder and now we can say enter your name okay and let's save this now in our browser let's refresh now we see sort of grayed out in this text box it says enter your name the best part about this is this isn't any text here you can't select it it's not going to submit the form if you submit it it's basically just a background to this area when you start typing it completely goes away, you stop typing, it comes back. It's really just presentational. But it's really great because uh, before to do this, if you had like a value in here or something like that, uh, that might not necessarily fit because then you have a value in your form and if you want to validate for value presence or something, that wouldn't work. So placeholder text is a great way to do this directly in HTML. And now browser support is pretty good for this. Uh, and I think IE10 supports it, but I'm not positive. Uh, anything older than that's not going to. And uh, like I said, the browser support is going to change all the time. But this one is one of your more well-used uh, items here. So another one we have is pattern. And pattern's really interesting as well because it allows you to validate uh, a field um, without using JavaScript, with just using a regex pattern. So I would recommend doing some research on regex because it's really useful, uh, regular expressions that is. And you could type in here pattern, and inside of the quotes here, we can just have um, a regex pattern. So I'm going to say this accepts all characters lowercase a through, the, a through z and all characters uppercase a through z. And I'm going to say that happens as many times as you want. So let's come back here, refresh. So it looks normal. Nothing looks like it's changed. However, uh, if you try to submit your form, it's going to tell you that the requested format wasn't matched. So you, of course, would want to have some instructions in here. And uh, you know, maybe if you're looking for an employee ID number or something like that, it has certain characters and you want to validate with regex. Either way, it's, uh, it's pretty darn cool to be able to use a regular expression in HTML like that. So the last item we're going to have here, I'm also going to throw it on this text, uh, this input type text, and it's going to be uh, one of the more useful ones. It's going to be required, and this is just a Boolean attribute. So by having the word required here, you're basically turning this on. So if you save this and refresh this page, again, you're not going to see anything different. But if you try to submit this form, it's not going to let you. So let's actually go ahead and add a submit button here and we'll just do an input type submit. And let's save this. And now we refresh our page. We have a submit button. And you'll notice when we try to fill this out, it does say, please fill out this field. It's letting us know that nothing in there is acceptable. Also, if I try to type in a number and I click submit, it's giving me an error saying that the requested format wasn't matched because it wasn't a character. Uh, so that's awesome. So let's actually see how this affects some of these other fields. Let's say it's a email, right? Let's make email required as well. Save this, come back, refresh. We have a name in here. It's now telling me I need to fill out this field, and I'll just put some junk in here. Please enter an email address. Great. So let's uh, at leveluptuts.com, and it knows this is an email address, and the form submits correctly. So you've just built an HTML5 form with a whole bunch of new input types, with a new attributes. You can now require uh, make fields required uh, directly in HTML and not have to rely on JavaScript. Pretty cool. So this is all we're going to do for forms right now. We may come back to some more things later, but this is quite a bit here and have fun playing around with these new form types.